She's back. The weight I added on completing this boat increased the dip of the paddles quite a bit. More load on the engine that the feeble steam output of the boiler cannot handle. So I will be taking care of that in this short video. The tiny copper boiler was made like the ones most antique steam toys had. Literally an empty can with a burner under it. The slightest little breeze and this could happen, setting everything on fire. A fire tube inside the boiler is not only much safer, but more efficient too. Pressure testing a boiler is done with it filled to the top. But there's hardly gonna be any pressure in this one. As before, steam will go directly to the engine as it's produced. At 25 psi, that's not even 2 bar, steam will just blow by between the port face and the cylinder, which in fact acts as a safety valve. To replace the boiler, I'll have to cut the base plate lip right here, reconnect the fittings, and it should be done. I made another base plate, instead of messing with the old one. Transferring engine, wheels and gas tank will be easier. Quite simple. Now let's see if it works. It looks as if it will need a stronger burner. That's more like it. Now that everything is back together and ready, we'll be going back to the pond in a few days and hopefully get the boat paddling along again. Thank you for watching.